What is Euclid? It has space telescope with two instruments in infrared and visible. This satellite is good to do almost everything. With the same cosmic lens capabilities as NASA's James Webb telescope, Euclid, a super technology telescope, was launched to unravel the secrets of dark matter and dark energy, comprising 85% of the universe. Since its first glance into the cosmos, it has unveiled startling revelations questioning the foundations of the Big Bang Theory. However, this stirs a notion. Are we really prepared for what lies beyond our cosmic assumptions? Let's get to the details. The Euclid's enlightening snapshot. 30 days after Euclid's departure from Earth, it finally opened its lenses, peering into the vastness of the cosmos from 1.5 million kilometers away, and the images that it has captured has been nothing but astonishing. Yes, Europe's latest space telescope, Euclid, has finally revealed its first razor-sharp images of the cosmos. These pictures have revealed the secrets of distant galaxies and stars. The first picture, the biggest surprise for everyone, is a game-changer for space study. Euclid aimed its sights at various targets for its first scientific snapshots. The telescope looked at the Perseus Cluster, home to 1,000 galaxies and more than 100,000 distant galaxies in the background, many never seen before. This cluster, one of the universe's most massive, is 240 million light years from Earth. Euclid's detailed image of the cluster is the first to show so many galaxies in such depth. Studying the shapes and locations of galaxies helps scientists understand the universe's structure better. The telescope also checked out the hidden galaxy, IC 342, using infrared light to reveal details about how the stars in this Milky Way look alike. Euclid is designed to explore various galaxies, including smaller ones from the early universe, crucial for forming larger galaxies like the Milky Way. Euclid observed NGC 6822, an irregular dwarf galaxy resembling those from the early universe, located 1.6 million light-years away. It delved into the globular cluster NGC 6397, 7,800 light-years from Earth, unraveling details about this celestial feature full of hundreds of thousands of stars held together by gravity. In a detailed view, Euclid captured the Horsehead Nebula, part of the Orion constellation, a massive cloud nurturing newborn stars. Early data from Euclid has been described as stunning, providing new details about galaxies and celestial features beyond what was previously possible. Before we explore the full details of what this discovery implies, let's quickly go over Eleusid itself. Euclid started when two cool ideas, the Dark Universe Explorer and the spectroscopic All-Sky Cosmic Explorer, joined forces. These ideas were born in response to ESA's call for space plans in March 2007. They wanted to figure out the universe's shape using different techniques. After checking everything carefully, they combined these ideas into one mission and called it Euclid, honoring an ancient Greek mathematician named Euclid of Alexandria, the father of of geometry. The big approval to make Euclid happen came from ESA's Science Program Committee in October 2011, and they officially adopted it on June 25, 2012. I'm working on, uh, on Euclid, that is a mission to, uh, to map the, the universe, and for that we built a, a, a highly precise telescope in which we can map dark matter structures as well as derive the properties of the uh, dark energy. To build the Euclid satellite, ESA asked Thales Alenia Space in Italy to take charge. Euclid is like a space wizard, weighing 4.5 meters in length, 3.1 meters in diameter, and a whopping two tons. The scientists at Airbus Defence and Space in Toulouse, France, closely watch the Euclid payload module. This module is like Euclid's backpack and holds a telescope called the Korsh which has a mirror 1.2 meters wide, giving it a view of 0.91 degrees square in the sky. At the heart of Euclid's scientific arsenal lies the Euclid Consortium, a team of scientists from 13 European countries and the United States. Bringing the visible light camera and the near-infrared spectrometer and photometer on the mission, these gadgets are set to map the 3D distribution of a whopping 2 billion galaxies covering more than a third of the cosmic scenery. 
These cameras would dig into galaxies' shapes, colors, and light details, promising a deep dive into the cosmic world. With this awesome teamwork and technology, Euclid aims to uncover incredible secrets of the universe. Euclid aims to find out more about two of the universe's greatest mysteries, dark energy and dark matter. Think of Euclid as a time-traveling explorer armed with futuristic tools to unveil the cosmic secrets of ages past. This cosmic wonder uses smart techniques, like gravitational lensing and precise measurements of galactic distances, to unravel the secrets of dark energy and matter. Gravitational lensing is like a magical cosmic trick, showing how matter bends light, giving us a peek into the hidden dance of invisible dark matter. Euclid, our cosmic hero, even fixed a teeny gap in its space armor after launch, ensuring crystal clear cosmic snapshots. Every day, Euclid captures stunning images, becoming a prolific cosmic storyteller. With its powerful VIS camera, Euclid beats even the famous Hubble and James Webb telescopes, revealing cosmic wonders with unmatched clarity. Imagine a super camera spotting things 500 meters apart from a mind-blowing 10 billion light-years away, a true testament to Euclid's cosmic prowess. On a six-year mission, Euclid explores a vast cosmic playground spanning 15,000 square degrees, peering into the extragalactic sky. It's like a space adventurer, creating 100 gigabytes of space data daily, each byte a potential nugget of cosmic discovery. Euclid's journey extends into mysterious deep fields, like hidden gardens in space, covering 50 square degrees. These fields are like cosmic test zones, meticulously checking the telescope's performance while unveiling the secrets of the universe's most distant galaxies and quasars. Euclid uses cosmic filters to capture snapshots of galaxies in at least seven colors, creating a vibrant cosmic palette from 460 to 2,000 nanometers. Each image becomes a unique chapter in the evolving story of the universe, portraying its majestic evolution and cosmic drama. Behind the scenes, a mysterious group of over 1,200 individuals from 18 countries forms the Euclid Consortium. Like a team of cosmic wizards, this cosmic assembly works diligently, developing algorithms and scientific magic to unravel the universe's mysteries. Euclid's impact goes beyond cosmology. It acts as a cosmic gift, providing data for other groundbreaking telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Square Kilometer Array. The mission invites scientists worldwide, urging them to join this cosmic adventure and become part of the wow factor, contributing to our collective understanding of the vast and mysterious universe. On January 24, 2013, NASA and ESA teamed up for the Euclid mission, making it official with a memorandum of understanding. NASA's big role includes providing 20 detectors for the near-infrared instrument, working with a visible light camera. All the nitty-gritty work of building instruments, making the telescope, and running the satellite happens in Europe. NASA added 40 American scientists to the Euclid Consortium, a big team of over 1,000 scientists from 13 European countries and the United States. This crew is crucial for making instruments and digging deep into the mission's data. In 2015, Euclid passed a big test, the preliminary design review, showing off all its technical plans and testing key parts. Then, in December 2018, the mission aced another critical design review test, giving a thumbs up to the spacecraft's design and plan. This green light meant they could start putting the spacecraft together. In a key move for its space adventure, the visible and near-infrared instruments got to Airbus in Toulouse, France, in July 2020. This was a big deal as they got combined with the spacecraft, getting everything ready for the mission's upcoming exploration. When things didn't go as planned, like Russia's departure from the Soyuz launch in 2022, the ESA quickly changed, switching the launch to a SpaceX Falcon 9. On July 1, 2023, Euclid took off on its cosmic journey, starting a major chapter in its quest through the cosmos.
Euclid's pictures contradict the Big Bang theory as it shows the secrets of galaxies, how they formed and changed over a really long time. It peeks into hidden places where dark matter and dark energy do their cosmic dance. These pictures give hints about invisible forces shaping stars and galaxies, making scientists want to figure out the secret codes in gravity and the cosmic dance. As Euclid embarks on its science mission, the array of images it captures will serve as valuable tools for astrophysicists. These images aim to deepen our understanding of how galaxies come into existence and change over time, explore the pace of the universe's expansion, and unravel the enigmatic properties of dark matter and dark energy. These cosmic mysteries can only be indirectly studied by observing their gravitational and cosmological effects on celestial bodies. Euclid's unique strength lies in its ability to capture broad views of the sky, setting it apart from the James Webb Space Telescope, which excels at providing detailed images of individual objects rather than wide sections of the celestial expanse. In addition to this, Euclid is poised to enable astrophysicists to construct more extensive and clearer maps of dark matter structures compared to the ESA's Planck Space Telescope. The observational approach involves using statistical tools and a technique called weak gravitational lensing, where scientists analyze how massive clumps of dark matter subtly alter the shapes of light from background galaxies. This method allows for a comprehensive study of dark matter using Euclid's galaxy catalogs. Michael Seifert, a scientist involved in NASA's contribution to the Euclid mission, expresses eagerness about studying galaxies affected by dark matter. Despite these distant galaxies appearing as mere smudges, their contribution to advancing our understanding of dark matter is profound. Euclid's image resolution surpasses ground telescopes by three to five times, and while it may not match the detailed images of the JWST, Euclid's ability to survey vast areas is 100 times faster. Much like the JWST, Euclid observes celestial objects from the L2 Lagrange point, situated approximately 1.5 million kilometers beyond Earth's orbit. The mission encountered challenges in August related to the telescope's guidance sensors, which intermittently lost track of guide stars due to cosmic rays hitting the detectors. However, after implementing updates to the flight software, the engineering team successfully addressed the issue, causing only a slight delay with no expected further impact on the mission. Presently, the Euclid team is diligently engaged in calibrating the instruments, paving the way for the telescope's full-fledged science mission set to commence in January. Over the coming year, they plan to release data from the initial 50 square degrees of the survey, followed by the complete year's data. This data release will not only encompass images but also contribute to new cosmology research, offering a richer comprehension of the vast universe we inhabit. This, a camera operating at visible wavelengths 530 to 920 nanometers, made of a mosaic of 6x6 E2V charge. Coupled detectors containing 600 million pixels allows measurement of the deformation of galaxies. NISP, a camera composed of a mosaic of 4x4 Teledyne H2RG detectors sensitive to near-infrared light radiation 920 to 20 to 20 nanometers with 65 million pixels, is designed for two main purposes, providing low-precision measurements of redshifts and distances for over a billion galaxies through multicolor. 3-filter, Y, J, and H, photometric redshift technique and utilizing a slitless spectrometer to analyze near-infrared light spectra 920 to 1850 nanometers, achieving precise redshifts and distances for millions of galaxies with an accuracy 10 times superior to photometric redshifts and determining baryon acoustic oscillations. The Euclid spacecraft includes solar panels that supply power and maintain telescope orientation with a precision better than 35 milliarc seconds. Careful insulation ensures thermal stability to preserve optical alignment. The telecommunication system transfers 850 gigabits per day using the Ka band and CCSDS file delivery protocol to transmit scientific data at a rate of 55 megabits per second to the Sobreros ground station in Spain during the allocated four-hour daily observation period when the telescope is above the horizon. Euclid has onboard storage of at least 300 gigabytes. 
The service module houses most spacecraft subsystems. Telemetry and telecommand, attitude orbit control system, central data management system, electrical power system, reaction control system, and micropropulsion system. The AOCS ensures stable pointing with a dispersion below 35 milli arc seconds per visual exposure, necessitating high thermal stability to safeguard the telescope assembly from optical misalignments at such accuracies. So, let's hear from you in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. See you soon!